you would be, you'd be turning your Bibles to the book of Genesis, chapter 9. We want to talk to you a little bit and read some scriptures concerning the tokens of the Bible. And there are several in there, and uh, I got my concordance out and looked, and I was, I was reading on uh, one of the uh, tokens that is mentioned in the Bible, and there is several. And so we want to discuss a few, read it to you a few, and, and what uh, sometimes what we miss so much uh, when we read things like this is that we just don't pay attention a lot of times when we're reading uh, to what that, uh, the Word is saying. But in, in the book of Genesis, we wanted to start out with a token that uh, uh, was given to Abraham. And uh, if you would turn, uh, look at uh, verse 15 of the ninth, of the uh, eighth chapter. Let me look and see, make sure that I'm right on this. I got 9.15 and 8.15. Okay, look at 8.15 <clears throat> in the book of Genesis. And God spake unto Noah, saying, I'm, I'm, I'm not even right, it's, it's not uh, uh, Abraham, it's Noah. <laughs> and God spake unto Noah, saying, Go forth of the ark, thou and thy wife, and thy sons, and thy sons' wives, with thee, bring forth with every living thing that is with thee of all flesh, both of fowl and of the cattle and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, that they may breed abundantly in the earth and be fruitful and multiply upon the earth. And Noah went forth, his sons and his wives and his son's wife with him. Every beast, every creeping thing, every fowl, whatsoever creepeth upon the earth, after their kind went forth out of the ark. And Noah built an altar upon the, up, up unto the Lord, and took of every clean beast, and of every clean fowl, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelt a sweet savor, and the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil with, with his youth. Neither will I again smite <clears throat> any more everything that liveth as I have done. Now, in the, in the ninth verse, the ninth chapter, I want you to look over there just a minute and see something. In the ninth chapter, in verse uh, 15, he says, <clears throat> this is, was the, the covenant that he made with Noah. In, in 9.15 he says, And I will remember my covenant with which is between me and you and every living creature and all flesh and the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all the flesh. Then <clears throat> uh, here he's, he mentions that with his promise, and I'm trying to find it where it was at, uh, he puts, uh, he makes the, the promise to, to Noah that he would put a bowl in the air. Verse 16. Verse 16. <clears throat> it wasn't okay, I didn't read part of it. 8, 16. Yeah, verse 16. Okay. Shall burn in just a minute, we'll get this thing going here. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, in verse 16, I don't know why I didn't miss it. And in verse 16, 9, 15, 16, And the bowl shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember an even and everlasting covenant between God and everlasting a living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. So he made a covenant. He made, and he set this token. He gave him this, uh, no other's token, that he would never destroy the earth by a flood anymore, never flood it. And he gave this to not only to Noah, but he gave it to the, all the animals. He made the promise to all the animals. And you can uh, you can read some more over in uh, in the Song of Solomon, I believe it is, or Ecclesiastes one, where that there's a comment made on this, where that. Uh, all man and animal are alike. 
they all have the breath of life in them but the man goes up and the and the and the beast goes down that's the difference but he made the covenants of them so when I got to thinking about this, uh, you know, when we when we go out of a night and look and see the heavens and we we see all the stars and all of this, we get used to it. We don't think about it. Uh, but listen, when you go out and see that rainbow go plumb across the sky, listen that that means this morning, people, that God is 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 remembering His promise. To, to to Noah and he's remembering he's remembering that promise to each one of us Amen. and he makes that promise he keeps that promise and this is the reason why that I wanted to to sh try to read and try to study some of these tokens which uh, God made with man because if you if you if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you believe that he is there on the right hand of the Father and that God is the God that made the universe. He is the everlasting God. He is the God of our salvation. And all, if you believe that, then when you see these signs, these signs in the, in the sky, listen, it ought to make your heart rejoice. Amen. Amen. So here is, this is, this is what I want you to see. Look in Genesis 17. And we'll try to get this going together a little bit better than the first one. But in Genesis 17, 11, we want to read something else to you. <clears throat> God had made a uh, This was the one I started. I wanted to start with, but I didn't. But he had made this covenant with Abraham. And he, he told Abraham, he says in verse 10, This is my covenant with ye. Ye, ye shall keep between me and you and thy seed after thee every man child among you shall be circumcised and ye shall and ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin and it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you now he, listen i got to thinking about <clears throat> he put the bow in the air in the sky to see and it reminds him to keep his to that he made this covenant all right then circumcision he looks he even in the when the the children of of uh, 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 of israel left egypt and they were out there in the desert and they were out there walking around and crying and hollering and all this listen he looked on them and he seen the circumcision he seen that that he had made this promise to Abraham, and he would be with Abraham. I mean, with uh, I'll get you, uh, Abraham and Abram, and and so he made this promise to them that he would be with them and watch over them. And the circumcision after the law passed, then the circumcision was of the heart. Now, the same thing applies to the Gentiles that it did to the Jews. Those that are circumcised in heart, that have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior, listen, that's something that he sees. And, he's, he, and you, can, you, can, you, can, uh, you can believe this, but he sees you every day, how that you walk and you talk and you do all these things. And this, this, when he looks upon the circumcision of the heart, he sees it. And listen, Jesus Christ is right there by his side. Amen. And he's bringing, he's bringing this to his mind, and he's reminding him just as Moses, when he told Moses, he said, Moses, I'm going to kill the whole, I'm going to kill the whole nation. I'm going to kill them all. And Moses, Moses talked to God and told him what would happen if he did and it said God repented that he had that he had thought this so this is another one of the things that 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 we need to think about because he gave in 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 chapter 17 he told Abram all of these things and how that he promised that his seed would replenish the earth and it would be as the, the stars of heaven so this is an, another one of the things that I, but I want to get to this one here next in Exodus three <clears throat> this is this is the one to me that that is the greater of the tokens that exodus 3 and verse 3 as he was as he was out there in the wilderness 
In verse 3, And Moses said, I will now turn aside. He'd seen this bush. He'd seen this bush burning. And there was, evidently, it was, it was something that was not that unusual because of the heat and the dry dryness of the uh, 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 of everything because the sun would get so hot sometimes it would set him on fire but he stopped and seen this one and it was a little bit different the bush was standing there burning and wasn't being consumed and so moses here he says in verse three and moses said i will now turn aside and see this great sight why the bush is not burnt and when the lord saw that he turned aside he to see God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Draw nigh hither, put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place where thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am God. I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the afflictions of my people which are in Egypt and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. Now, as you, as you think upon what he's saying to Moses, God is still hearing the cries of his people. Mm -hmm. And this morning, I know that we have we have a lot of cries to the Lord. And, and it, it don't have to be bad health. It don't have to be uh, one thing or another. But listen, we have loved ones that we want to see saved. We have, uh, we have friends that are sick that we want to see. And don't never think when you put this before God that it goes unheard. Because it is heard. And uh, as Amen. I said again a while ago, listen, Jesus is there. And he's saying, God, that's your people. You can look down on them and see them, and they're crying out to you. And so, don't never get, don't never get discouraged in this lifetime by even by what the devil has to say to you, because God is always listening to what, you, what you say. And so here he says here, notice here in verse eleven, and Moses said unto God. Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh? And this is what God had told him. And that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt. And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel and shall say unto them, The God of your father has sent me unto you, and they shall say unto me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God shall say unto Moses, I am that I am. I am. Amen. He said, Thus shall thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. Amen. And so this morning we have a God that is always sitting there in the heavens ready to hear our cry and hear our clerk our our plea to him and i believe here this morning this token that he's talking about here was none other than that, that burning bush to make to make him remember uh what he had seen and and the words that he spoke to moses and i'm sure that moses repeated these to, to the children of israel many times on their journey and so we see here that uh, in verse 15, And God said moreover unto Moses, That this, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me unto you this my name forever. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. And that was to the generations of Israel, and that's to the generations uh, now, because listen, the same God that was talking to Moses is the same God that we're serving this morning, and he has the same, he has the same desire to help us in our time of need and cry. And we should be very thankful this Amen. morning that we know about this God, because listen, <laughs> 
There are so many gods in this world. Right. There are so many gods in this world that people are bowing down to and that are worshiping, and they don't know that they're worshiping false gods. Mm -hmm. But we this morning, as God's people, know that the God of, uh, of heaven is the God that, we're, that we are serving, that the God that just, just, that made all, all, everything. That's the God we're serving Amen. this morning. So this is another one of the, the things that, uh, that he uh, did. He sent a, a, a token to. Now, uh, one more time, in Exodus 12, I want you to see something. Exodus 12. In verse, uh, verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. Every man according to his eating shall make your account make shall make your account for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. You shall take it out from the sheep and from the goats and you shall keep it up until the 14th day of the same month and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening and they shall take of the blood and the, and the stripe, stripe it on the two side posts of the upper door post of the house wherein they shall eat it and they shall eat the flesh in, the, in that night roasted with fire and unleavened bread and with bitter herbs they shall eat. Eat not of it raw or sodden at all with water, but roasted with fire, his head with his legs, and with the prudence thereof. And ye shall let none of it remain until the morning. Uh, and that which remaineth of it until the morning, ye shall burn with it. Now notice, here in... Uh, uh, 11 and thus shall you eat it with your loins girded your shoes on your feet and your staff in your hand and ye shall eat it in haste it is the lord's passover for i will pass through the land of egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of egypt both man beast and again against all the gods of egypt i will execute judgment i am the lord and the blood shall be to you a token upon the house where you are and when i see the blood i will pass over you Amen. and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when i smite the land of egypt and people this is the most to me this is the greatest of all the tokens i, I think in that in that what it represents mm -hmm. it represents so much this morning when 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 uh, when they took that lamb and they, they when they took that lamb and they 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 kept it bring it in their house and they kept it up and they they petted it and they combed it and, and what all they did to it listen it's a type of jesus christ and that was that's what we need to do this morning is take the lord jesus christ bring him into ourselves and 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 hold him just as close to us as we Amen. can and love him because listen he is the lamb that died for the sins of the world. He is the lamb that shed his blood. He is the lamb that give that token of that blood upon those two sides of the door and up on the top there. He is the, the Jesus that we serve this morning. Amen. He is the precious one. He is the, he is the only one that can do these things for us. And he said here, he said here, when I see the blood. Amen. When I see the blood, and the people this morning, you've got to have that lamb, and you've got to have his blood applied right. to your heart. And that's when we was talking about circumcision of the flesh. That heart is circumcised with that blood of Jesus Christ this morning. And when when Jesus and when God sees that that blood applied, he says, I'll pass over you. 
Listen, that means this morning that with that blood, you're saved. And listen, when when this angel come by and takes you, like David said, though I go through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Listen, he, he's going to go with you all the way. Amen. And this morning, you can be saved and you will not have to worry about going to a devil's hell. Amen. And not to be suffering uh, all, all the rest of your uh, e eternity. But listen, this this right here, it says here, and the blood shall be to you, or be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plagues shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. And this day, shall be unto you for a memorial. Amen. And ye shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. Ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. Now notice this morning he says here, and this, this is a memorial. And this morning, you that have had the blood applied, there will be, I... In, in my soul, in my in my being, I know there will be a memorial. There will be that time and that place. A lot of people says I don't remember the time and the place. Listen, I worry because listen, I know just exactly. I know just exactly when it happened. I know just exactly where I was at. I know just exactly where I was walking. And people, listen, there will be a memorial there, and you can depend upon that if whatever the devil comes and, and puts it you and, and does this and does that, listen. And this old flesh, this old flesh will streak and carry on, and it's afraid. But listen, my soul is not afraid. Amen. That, that memorial will be there. And, and that's what he says here. He says it's a, it's a memorial for you. And it's a token of that blood. He Listen, he give it. He gives us a token and he says this is the blood. Uh, this is what it will do. And this is what it does do for us. It, it gives us that everlasting uh, hope. It gives us uh, uh, the security that we need. And when the devil comes and, and pounds on us and and tries to hurt us and tries to convince us that we're lost listen that holy spirit brings that memorial back to you that blood has been applied and listen all is well amen all is well and so this morning don't 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 sell these tokens short because listen they're there for our assurance that god gives us these things in order to remind him to remember and it reminds us that he will remember when we need things he he remembers he sees it and listen of all the things this little lamb that was put to death a type of jesus christ our savior Amen. listen he's right there he's right there always he's always right there on the right hand of the father that's what the bible says said he ascended and sat down on the right hand of the father and so he's there Make an intercession for us this morning. And you can be assured, you can be assured, if you have this memorial, if you have this blood, blood applied, hey, all is well. Mm -hmm. And so I, there's, there's no reason for a Christian, one that has, ex, has experienced this, to walk around with a droopy face. There's no reason for them to be sad, people. I, and I know there's things that comes up in this world and causes this old flesh to be sad. But listen, you can be shouting inside. That soul can be happy and be so, 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 so pleasant to you. So these these things right here, these tokens. I want. I got another one. I want to read to you, and it's over in the book of Matthew. Uh, uh, if you would turn to Matthew 26. Matthew 26 and verse 47. Here's a token. Here's a token. All these tokens that you see in earth is, is, is it needs, but this one here. In verse 47 of the book of Matthew 26, and while he is spake, lo, and this is while he was out there, Judas, 
one of the twelve came, and with him a great multitude was swords and staves from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now he that betrayeth him gave them a sign, saying, Whosoever I shall kiss, that same is he, hold him fast. He betrayed Jesus Christ with a kiss. Right. That was a token. He told them, he said, I'm going to give you this token here, you that we're, we're going to murder Jesus. He gave them a token also. Judas did. He said, whoever I walk in that place and kiss, he said, that's the one you grab him and hold him. And it was none other than Jesus Christ. And he says here, uh, and forth, in verse 49, and forthwith he came to Jesus and said, Hail, Master, and kissed him with a friendly smile, on, no doubt, on his face. A deceiving smile. Right. And listen, that's the devil for you. And he comes to you so, so many times and he kind of pecks you on the, on the jaw and he gives you those sweet, innocent thoughts. And listen, they're deceiving people. They will cause you to get into trouble. They will cause you to get into trouble. And he said here, and Jesus said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou, art thou come? And then came they, laid hands on Jesus, and took him away. And behold, one of them which were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. And what did Jesus tell him? He said, put up your sword. Mm -hmm. This has got to happen. This has got to happen before... I complete my job on earth. This thing, he says, you put your you put your sword up, Jesus, uh, Judas, I mean John, John, I think it was, a uh, Peter. He said, you put your sword up, Peter, because this is these these things that that you're seeing take place, they've got to happen, mm -hmm. and so they happen, and so uh, that's that's another one of the things that I wanted you to see, and I have one other, I think, yeah, and John, look at John 19. And we'll wind this up. John 19, 31. John 19, verse 31. <clears throat> the Jews, therefore, because it was the preparation day, that the body should not be not remain upon the cross on the Sabbath day, for the, that, that Sabbath day was a high day. Besought Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. Then came the soldiers and broke the legs of the first and of the other, the two thieves, which was crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they broke not his legs, which was to fulfill the scripture that not a bone of him would be broken. But one of the soldiers with a spear, speared his side, and forthwith came out blood and water amen and he that saw it by a record and his record is true and he knoweth that the, he saith true that he might believe for these things were done that the scriptures should be fulfilled a bone of him shall not be broken amen. and again another scripture saith they shall look on him whom they pierced so this this morning is the blood this is where the little lamb back in Genesis, the, 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 the lamb was taken out. And he's taken out again. He's taken out again. And he's at the right hand of the Father making intercession for us. And uh, that blood, people, is the most important thing that we, can, Amen. that we can sing about, that we can study about, that we can talk about, that we can believe on. It's, it's the blood. And so I hope that some of these things that I've read to you will will cause you to to uh, uh, look at these because Joshua in the book of Joshua we see another one and it was Rahab mm -hmm. and when the the spies came to spy the land out and they she let him she let him in and took care of him and she she made a, she made a covenant with them and they made the covenant back and they give her a token. Mm -hmm. It was a little red cord. Mm -hmm. That red cord saved her and her family because she hung it up out in the window. And when they come in and, sm and smoke the land, 
they seen the cord. <laughs> they seen the blood. Hey, that's, that's, like, that's just like Jesus said. Uh, God said, I'll pass over you when I see the blood. And that was the same, that's the same type of this morning. And she hung the cord up in, in the uh, window. When they come by, they let her go. Amen. And, took, and she had all, she gathered all of her family. Listen, she's telling other people, uh, gather in people because listen, it's coming. And, and today, God's word is saying, gather up and worship me because listen, I'm coming. I'm coming back to get you. And uh, you know, it's, it's, it should be a wonderful thought this morning to know that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back just like the army of Israel come by and, and, and wiped that city out. And they left, the, they left that woman's house there with all her friends and with all her relatives in there because of that one little cord and because of the love that she had for them and took and treated them right and let them go and help them to escape again. And so these, these are some of the things that uh, uh, that I, I, I wrote down and uh, I want you, I just wanted to mention that to you. So if you want to read that again in Joshua 2.12, you uh, get your Bible and make your mark, write it down. And uh, you can read that one because that's, and that's a blessing this morning, people. Amen. To see, see them coming to that land and uh, knowing that they were going to be killed if they, if they were caught. And she, she helped them out. And so this should encourage us this morning. The, the closer we see the day coming, the closer we need to get to the Lord. And then the closer that we need to worship Him and, and, uh, and stay in tune with Him. Because who knows? Today may be the day. Amen. Thank you all so much for listening. Amen.